So you should just know, so this film is traveling. This is only the second city, although it's opening in Phoenix today as well. In San Francisco, we're doing 13 cities in total. So we go around the country, um, and then CNN airs the whole thing. And before CNN airs it, which is great, I don't think America has yet heard Tagalog this much. <laughs> <laughs> CNN was like, what? Yeah, so I'm really, really proud of that. Um, but, but before we do this, we're actually planning an event, hopefully, with, oh God, Lara. Is Lara here? I think so. Uh, with Psychology Today. Um, nice. Yeah. Because I really want to put mental health kind of front and center. And I feel like, look, I'm a pretty thoughtful person. I, I, I had two other ideas for this film. Like, again, this is not the film that I really wanted to make. I was going to make a much more intellectual economic film, like make arguments about the billions of dollars that undocumented young people could contribute and all of that stuff. But then after I've done 200 events in 43 states in two and a half years. And what, I, it, what it really taught me is that we learn a lot by feeling and that people have a very visceral reaction to this. And the only way I could really reach them if I give them something visceral and emotional. Because um, it gets people really disoriented. We had a screening at Miami University where Paul Ryan went to college in Speaker Beta's district in front of about 300 college students two weeks ago. And the reaction to that, <laughs> that's when I know that I made the right film. Because afterwards, they're just, they just feel really disarmed and really disoriented. I, I think that your film has two extraordinarily important audiences. One, Can they be critics? <laughs> you guys are giving me such good criticism, but thank you. <laughs> Besides critics, one is are the sort of average American, you know, who doesn't get this yeah. issue, has never thought about this issue, who's just sort of you know, gone blithely through. Your drinking buddy in Alabama. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I never use them. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That, that's, yeah. so, and that's a very important audience. And you're building empathy and getting people to be, oh, damn. Empathy. Or empathy. Or some empathy. Empathy. Empathy, right? You know, so you're never going to get, the, you are, the, the, if you're preaching to the converted, you are the converted, you know, people like yeah. some of us in the room already get it. Then there are the people you're never going to move over. But there are a lot of people in the middle who've just not thought about it. And At you all. move a lot of those over. And then the other important audience, and I think this is really important, there are, you know, one and 1.5 million uh, people under the age of 18 who are, un who, have, mm -hmm. uh, who are undocumented. There's another 4.5 million who, are, who have family members who are yes, undocumented. Yes, mixed status. Growing yeah. up in the shed, who are in mixed status families. Yeah. You are, you know, helping the, the young folk who are in that situation realize you're not alone. You know, you are not alone. You're, you know, by coming out and telling your story, well, I have to be honest with you. Like, I'm, I feel, I feel a, a certain kind of guilt, and it occurred to me the other day. Yes, there's. Oh gosh, yeah, the, the, the therapist saw that to me. But yeah, so, but I mean, this feeling that, this feeling that, you know, you see that one Skype scene. Can you imagine how many other scenes like that are happening all across America? Sorry, you had me sobbing. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, so like, but, but to me, I mean, this is for me the power of movies, like sitting in a theater like this. Most people here probably either follow this issue or know about it, right? But it's really important to preach beyond the choir. It's, that's why for us, CNN was the right place um, to try to figure out how we can get people who are like, just have no idea, you know? I mean, and a lot of this is you can actually squarely put on the lap of the American press. Right? The fact that people don't even understand this issue. Like, they can ask questions like, why don't you just make yourself legal? Because I don't know, I'm a masochist. This is so yeah, okay. fun. <laughs> like, yeah, so that. But one of the things that I think we rarely ever talk about when it comes to this issue, and I think one of the things that I really did not want to show in this film, which unfortunately film sh the sh shows, and comfortable for me, is the psychological toll of this. Like, we never really talk about mental health issues. Like, can you talk about that and like what kind of scholarship is being done? And also like what you think is, when I think of these young children, you know, making this pilgrimage, I mean, I think of it, as you said, it's a humanitarian crisis. If it were happening in Europe with white people, I can tell you right now, it'd be a humanitarian crisis, right? But since it's not, 
it's happening to people of color, right? So, so please talk to it's, us about that. It's absolutely, it's, it's the civil rights issue of our moment, and there is a huge psychological toll. So family separations are inherent in, in, uh, in immigrations, but they are greatly lengthened yeah. by these uh, fire broken immigration system. So children are apart from their parents for the, the, you know, half their childhood, if not the entire childhood. And the reaction that you had, which was pushing away and anger, is you know a frequent reaction. Um, you know, there's a you know there's a sort of having to shut down. Um, there's a lot of depression. There's a lot of you know. So I saw a therapist after we edited. Pardon me? So for the first time in my life, I saw a therapist. She looks like Diane Keaton from Father of the Bride. She's great. She's wonderful. But yeah, so like I've never seen a therapist before. But after we edited the film, I'm like, I got I need help. Um, and, a, and a lot of therapists don't know how to deal with it. By the way. Um, and when family, when 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 uh, kids finally do get together with their parents, it's the reunification process is often extremely complicated. Uh, and it's hard for both sides, for both the parents. The, so the mother is longing for the child for forever. For the, the child is psychologically present for the parent, you know, for the entire reunification. But the child has often made a, a bond, um, has moved on in, in many ways, and, and has made the bond with the caretaker, the substitute caretaker, the, the grandparent, or the aunt, or the whoever's taking care. And so, the, you know, so the, it, it, this is, Issue. So that the family separations is a piece of what goes on, and there are many other issues. We live in the age of mass migration. 250 million transnational migrant, migrants, 750 million internal migrants in countries like the Philippines, India, China, throughout Latin America, throughout Africa. Probably a billion people today have lives shaped by the experience of mass migration. We, ironically, as a country, in our country, migration is history, it's destiny. We live in a city that embodies that. We are less than 5% of the world's population we probably have 20% of all people without papers in the world. This is the barbarity of an immigration system that is broken, that is cruel, that has no lines, as, as uh, Jose uh, uh, shows us uh, in, uh, in, in, the, in the film. I also think the, the film is, it's a, a, a I think the, the humor is priceless uh, in, in the film. That's the range of, of, uh, of uh, the issues that are at stake when we think about immigration into our country. When, when I see uh, this documentary, I'm, I'm reminded of uh, Barbara Jordan, the great Texas Congresswoman, uh, civil rights hero. Congresswoman Jordan once said, immigrants remind us of what it is to be American. I think of Jose as an educator. He performs for all of us fundamentally a lesson on what citizenship as sheer fate, not as a paper, but citizens, citizenship as a lived day in and day out reality is all about. He is, Jose is teaching citizenship to our senators, to our congressmen, right? 